polls in New York do close in less than an hour. Voter turnout, as you've been hearing, has been extremely light. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger at PS226 in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. We are watching an historic race there. Hannah. Yeah, Maurice, the latest census results showed a large population increase among Asian Americans in our city, including this part of southern Brooklyn. So the newly redrawn 43rd City Council District has a nearly 54% Asian majority. It runs through parts of Sunset Park, Borough Park, Bath Beach, Bensonhurst, and Gravesend. We've introduced you to the candidates running, Democrat Susan Zwong, Republican Ying Tan, and conservative Vito LaBella. It is an election with no incumbent. Poll workers say they have seen a few minor issues early this morning with one of the scanners down, but that has been repaired. There's been a steady stream of voters since we've been here. Workers say more than 300 ballots have been cast at this location today. Of course, that does not include early voting. I work 2022. We had far more people around, but it's an off year of an off year. But on top, considering that, I've actually had more people than I expected. As we've been reporting, the changes to the district also left two council members fighting for the same seat in the nearby 47th district, which encompasses Bay Ridge and Coney Island. Republican Ari Kagan and Democrat Justin Brannon are facing off in another high stakes race that we've been watching. And back here in the 43rd, regardless of the results of the race, this is set to be a historic one because of this first of its kind Asian majority district. And also because both of the major party candidates, Republican and Democrat, are Asian women and immigrants. For now, we're live here in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News. Okay, Hannah, thank you.